Hey, it's Ray here. Thanks so much for joining another real time edit. And I apologize for this video's audio, the previous one's audio, and a bunch that are about to come out. I'm recording a bunch of these real time edit videos today, and unfortunately, I do not have access to my normal microphone. Um, it's a long story, but uh, hopefully, you can hear me clearly just through these AirPod microphones. Um, and so that's kind of the best I have right now. But in any case, hopefully, uh, down the road, I'll, well, not hopefully, definitely down the road, I'll get back to using my regular microphone and sound like a little bit norm, more normal again. So anyway, let's jump right into this image here. Now that I've complained about my lack of microphone long enough. All right. So I've got this, uh, these beautiful American, or I'm sorry, not American. Uh, I was going to say Avocets, but uh, the black stilts, actually. And so photograph these out at the Great Salt Lake during my amazing visit out there in uh, September 2021 here. Uh, with Marianne Karen. That was just an incredible trip out there. So I'm going to start with the crop, make sure it's straight. Um, I'm going to go cool. I'm going to edit for the top half first here. So I think I want to do kind of an in-between silhouette. So I want to see just a little bit of the detail there. And I do like that cooler top half. Uh, I didn't like it as cyan as it was, but so something like that. Uh, but I really dug the warmer that was happening in the bottom here. So I'm going to throw a gradient in down there. Uh, I'm going to warm it just a little, and then I'm going to try uh, another gradient down at the bottom here because I want to warm just the highlights of that. So I'm going to try, uh, let's see, I guess I'll subtract some luminance range here, and I think if I dial out the black, no, that's the, i got to go the other way. So we'll dial out. Yeah, there, I just want the highlights uh, select it so we'll leave the shadows kind of out of there. And let's see, we'll soften up that range a little bit there. Kind of drop that. That should be good. So let me see what that does, and then I'm just going to crank those, those bokeh balls a little bit more. And then actually, you know what? I might bring, oops, I might bring that original gradient up a little higher here to get some more of these, this bokeh that's up in the top portion there. And we'll see how that does. Hmm, not too much. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I kind of like that uh, that good bit of blue gold happening there. So I think we'll hit done on that. And I think that's about all I'm going to do here in Lightroom. I'll take it into Photoshop here. I'm going to start just trying to clean up some of these dust spots that were on my lens that happen in the bokeh here. They always just make kind of a mess there. Basically, like from what I understand, it's just any dirt that's on the front of the lens and I very rarely clean my lens. It's always kind of a hot mess, so gotta deal with that a little bit, but not too big a deal. All right, kind of digging the rainbow effect that's happening over there. Um, ooh, I didn't do very good on that climb. Let me smooth that out, kind of blend it better. There we go. All right, so uh, the only other thing I think I want to do is I want to lighten up some of these real dark spots at the bottom. There was a lot of kind of growth that was happening in the bottom there, and I didn't love it. Um, but I, um, there we go. There was nowhere else to shoot, you know. That was kind of the only way to shoot there. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Uh, let me try just going back to cloning here. So yeah, I couldn't really, yeah, this is going to be weird. I guess I just have to leave that. Let me, let me try th something through here. Ah, that's better. Just had to find the right spot. There we go. Some of this could probably go there. Some of that could probably go, nah, I think I'll leave that one alone. Ah, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, just find the right spot to clone from. There we go. Um. So yeah, I just had to kind of shoot there. There wasn't many options and uh, it would have been nice to not have this growth through there, but you know, hey, do what you can do, right? Um, I'm really unsure about this secondary bird. So I'm gonna try a version without him there or, or her, I have no idea. I guess we'll go with it. Try a version without that bird there. So let me blend this in. See what that looks like. 
There we go. I'm getting used to this new tablet of mine too. So it's just got a, it's a newer version. It's wireless, which is really nice. And actually, oddly enough, a little bit smaller than my previous tablet, but um, you know, the wireless convenience is just a wonderful thing. So yeah, I gotta say just having the one bird there is nice. Yep, I think I'll stick with that. So I'll just merge those two retouch layers together. All right, let's actually start tackling the edit on this. Um, huh, what to do? All right, I want to show a little bit more of the white on the stilt. And so I'm just going to go in and paint in that a little bit more so it shows a little bit better. Uh, and then it's super blue on that bird. Like, just ridiculous how the shadows work on these digital sensors is so funky. So let's actually make it the, the color it is, which is black and white. No blue on these stilts, that's for sure. There we go, that looks better. It also makes sense because I white balanced the whole top half a little bit cooler in that original step. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the clone layer here and just kinda put some softness on that dark spot there. All right, um, I do wanna richen up the bottom half a little bit more here, and here we go. Yeah, I think that's gonna look better. Nice, something like that. Maybe a little bit darker along the top edge here too, especially in the middle. That vignette on my lens is certainly kicking in there. And then maybe just a little shot of contrast right throughout the middle. There we go. Yeah, I kind of wanted that, that horizon, that highlight there to kind of glow a little bit more, but I don't want to blow out that bokeh over there. Well, I think that's about it actually. So let's see, before, after. Yeah, definitely cleaner. I wonder if I can get anything out of that bird's eye. Just gonna hop back to Lightroom real quick and see. Yeah, probably not enough that's worth it. So, all right, we'll leave it at that. Close and save. I'll take it back to Lightroom, show you the before and after. And uh, this one's a decent difference, especially with removing that secondary bird, but um, you know, nothing too crazy here. So there's your total before on the right and after. Look at the color scheme, right? It's just so much more interesting, I think, with those those kind of two-toned look. Um, and now that I see it before and after, I definitely pushed a bit too far with the orange. So I'm actually going to calm that down a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to go back into Photoshop and just desaturate the orange a little. So it should kind of mellow that out a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I want... I definitely want some of that there, but you know, that was so far off the original. I mean, it looked pretty, but it's just so far off the original. I don't know, it's a little bit much for me. Um, I'm fine with shifting white balance globally, especially when it's kind of a silhouette thing, because then it's just a, a bit of a choice, but I don't know. I prefer to not add in color that just never existed. It's more about enhancing or, you know, slightly shifting what was there and I don't know. I mean, still, you know, I, I still shifted it there, but uh, I guess I just feel a little bit better about that. Um, yeah, so we went from that, or, well, there's our start, right? From that to that. Uh, so a nice change there. Definitely better with without all those dark areas and I think without that secondary bird. So um, thanks for checking this one out. If you guys want to learn more about what I'm doing here, head on over to rayhennessy.com, go over to the workshops, down to the online workshops. That'll take you to this page. You can see all the different options that I offer for online workshops. Um, easiest one to start out with is just a remote session with me. We'll connect. I will answer any questions you have. Uh, I can help walk you through some edits, show you exactly how I do some of these edits step-by-step, -step, slowing things down. And I record all those sessions and then send you the recording so you can watch it over and over again. Uh, so that's the way that works. Uh, but I have some other options as well. If you want to work with me on an ongoing basis, sign up to the mentorships. Uh, I have plenty of openings for that right now, and I just actually revamped all of my offerings there. So I think it's a little bit more streamlined now. Uh, and all of my tiers, all the different tier options for my mentorship now, uh, starting from tier one all the way up to three, are all remote based. So you can work with me from anywhere in the world, which I already work with some amazing people from all over the world. So if you're watching this now and you want to try that, definitely get in touch. I'd love to have you join me on the mentorship stuff. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't miss my podcasts and new photos every day. And I'll see you guys on the next one.